Hi, I'm Rochelle with Godiva Secret Wigs. And I wanna say hello and thank you women all over the world. You are loving Godiva's Secret Wigs. That is amazing. And the questions and what we're gonna to address today is how do I store my wig? So I'm gonna take you through all the different ways that I have stored them, all the ways that work. So let's start with when you receive your wig, it's normally inside out, that protects the fibers and that's why we keep them inside out. When you get your wig, you've worn it, you had a great day, you got lots of compliments, and now you're home. What do you do with your wig? So the first thing is if it was knotted or you got a little wild, brush it out and then turn it back inside out again and you will store it in any kind of a container. Now this container does not have a lid and you don't want the wig getting dusty in a container with no wig. So the way you can handle that is put your wig in a plastic bag and in the container. That's way one, okay? What I really love are shoe boxes. And you can see I have my favorite Freedom wig and I love to put the name. Some of you out there love to decorate your wig boxes. There's my Freedom. That's also what I'm wearing today in Nutmeg F. So shoe boxes are great. Uh, shoe boxes, cardboard shoe boxes, plastic shoe boxes, anything with a cover and you are good to go. Okay, one of the important things to remember is if an area is too hot for you to be in, like we're not gonna put you in a hot trunk or me, you are not going to put a high quality, beautiful synthetic wig in a hot trunk. It's not good for it and it will really dry out the fibers and you won't be happy. So the wigs do not like intense heat, but when it's 105 degrees out, I wear my wigs when it's 108 or 10. If I'm in the mood, I even dampen my hair and put the wig on over it, okay? My hair's towel dried, it's not soaking wet when I do that. But if you can stand the heat, so can the wig. So just keep that in mind. Now some of you want decorative pretty little boxes and so there's my wig. It's got a great cover, it's protected from the dust and so great idea. Also, normally I keep my wigs in the closet, in drawers in my closet, in sweater box under the bed, and I'm gonna show you some other ways. So let's keep going. So this is a great craft box that I love. I do a lot of crafts and this is airtight. So got my little wavy piece in here, but if I were to put a wig, Again, I can't say enough to turn it inside out. And then you could even stack eight or 10 wigs here, one after another. Perfect, it's a great go-to box. This I got at Michael's, by the way. Now, for those of you that are part of our two to 20 and 30 wig club, and I am serious, I mean, it used to be women wear one wig for life and they don't switch, but not anymore. Our clients and I, we switch around all the time with lengths, with colors, and we have a good time at it, okay? So this is a great box to keep many wigs in. I'll show you what I've done. So on this side, I have my lighter wigs and my darker wigs, or you could have shorter, medium, long wigs. You can do anything you want. I hope you can see that, but this is a great box. Of course, again, it's protected by the top and it works wonderful as you're growing your wig wardrobe. So now we're gonna talk about getting a little creative with wig heads and how you're going to store your wig. So let's say that you have styled your Katie, you've hairsprayed it, you've teased it, it's perfect. In that case, you don't wanna turn it inside out and put it in a box, right? You wanna keep it to the style that you created 
or maybe you watched my how to make punky looking wigs. And if you have put hairspray and styled it, you wanna keep it on something. So here is one sample that I personally love because I made it and I got everything at the dollar store. It cost me about under $3. And this is a glass vase. This is a plastic bottom. And if you're interested, let me know and I'll do another video on how I made these. So the wig fits perfect. And this is a Katie again. And a shorter wig, great. Let's say you want to make it a little bit longer. All you have to do, one more dollar, ladies, glue it up on top. And then I love to have it as a secret compartment for my ponytails, my clips, my bobby pins to secure it. And then once it's glued on, then there's more length for the wig. So you could have a tailor on here, no problem, for some of your longer wigs. So it's really fun to get creative. And here's another little one I did. Um, just put some little flowers underneath. It's, it's a kick when you have nothing to do. So I walked around the house. What could I use for a wig stand? Well, guess what I found? A big, huge bottle of champagne. And you're gonna laugh out there, but if you need something, it works great. I mean, my gosh, my sister's been wearing wigs for decades and she puts her wig at the end of the day on a lampshade and that works great too for her. So there's no rules, but mainly if you can fold it inside out, put it somewhere where it won't get dusty. If you're wearing a wig every day or it's styled, then Here's a cute little surprise, Quaker Oats. <laughs> so you could decorate that box. You could put wrapping paper, you could decoupage it, you could do whatever you want, it's fun. So those are wig stands. Now let's talk about wig hangers. There's a few different things I wanna show you and I love them all. So Godiva's Secret, sells the wig hanger. They are phenomenal. And these are really used for after you're washing your, you've washed your wig and you're going to simply clip it on the bottom of the wig and you put it in your shower to dry. It's a breeze. And in the morning, your wig is dry, you brush it, you put it on and go. But this clip is also great for travel. So you can take it with you, take your wig off at the end of the day and there you've got a great place to hang your wig. That is number one. The next is the wig stand. <laughs> Yikes. Metal wig stand, and it goes apart and folds up. So it's great for travel and great for a wet wig because it will air dry. You just put it on like this and the wig sits right on top. So this is another great option. Also, I found at the dollar store, I found these hooks. So I've got my claw clip ponytail. I've got my Danielle bang, and you can hang turbans, whatever, and this hangs at the top of a door. And if you have a really long wig, like I'm gonna show you a canvas, you can just hook it on and woo, <laughs> hang it and perfect place, okay? So that's another really great idea. Two items I don't have here, but you could find them somewhere, are styrofoam heads and also the uh, shoe caddies that hang in your closet. So uh, I think you can see those right now, but those are all great ways to keep your wigs beautifully stored and have a little fun at the same time. So I hope that helps. And if you have a great ways that you are hanging and showing off your wigs, send your pictures, send them to us at info at GodivaSecretWigs.com. Send your pictures. We'd love to see because when you share 
we can share better with our clients all over the world. All right? Have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.